It's but like, with my job, it's like I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna do my job. But like, no, you're not gonna have me come in. Actually, like, no, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you're not gonna call, like. Yeah, dude. No, you I. You want to pay me that. more? Then that's fine. I my effort will will match that. But like, exactly, you know, m- most of these places, it's a race to the bottom of how little they can pay you. Exactly, dude. Yeah. Well, that's like when I was working at Target, like they would always be like, you know, it would really help us out if you stayed late and pushed so and so section, mm-hmm. and I'm like. Okay, well, it would really help me out if you'd come home and edit some clips with me. Yeah. I don't think you're going to do It would really help that. if you paid me more. There's never like, hey, <laughs> yeah, we'll I give you time and a half. It's yeah. always like. It's like, hey, can you just do some more? Yeah. And no. It's like, what? Or they'll always just like, yeah, we're going to actually fire this person. And then we're just going to delegate their six different, you know, uh, um, their six different utilities to six different people now. Yeah. So all your day-to-day stuff, we're going to add on this extra thing. Yeah. Which is kind of goofy in that way. Now, I realized I didn't want to do the corporate life. I mean, I still work for corporation, but like. It's not my main goal now. Back yeah. then, it was like when I worked for a tech company, it was, you know, you were maybe try calls. to climb and then what? And you were doing like sales yeah. calls and shit, man. Yeah. Were so, you in a dress shirt every day uh, and going no, to the No, they office? were pretty lax. I mean, oh, because <laughs> the pay they made up in other ways, culture, so that, you oh. you know, for younger people. Yeah. But no, there was one day that like one dude, we were having a, a happy hour. This is kind of like the day that made me realize I don't want this to be my pers- pursuit in life. Yeah was like we were just hanging out outside because they had a happy hour where they had a bunch of beer and drinks and everybody was just drinking after work on a Friday. Yeah. And this dude, this dude was leaving work and he was an overweight man and mm-hmm. he was riding a motorcycle and he, as he's pulling out the driveway uh, or the parking lot, he just collapses and dies of a heart attack. And I just like what? saw the ambulance called. No one did anything. And as I'm just like sitting there and like imagining who, if I was him, and my last thought was like just watching a, like Chad down a white claw <laughs> yeah. as I'm leaving the world. Holy committed my life to this company that doesn't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, and they you. did one thing at the at the next meeting. They did like a company meeting, and it was like a PowerPoint. After they got through like all the revenue and what we need to do, they just do. They go to the next slide. It's a picture of him, and they're like, you know, times like these really let us know what's important. And the next slide and quarter four. And I'm like, what's important? Yeah. <laughs> quarter four sales, yeah. baby. That's what's exactly. important. Exactly. I was like, dude. yeah, I need to. R.I.P. Joshua. Yeah. I'm just giving him Joshua because as we're going to go with that. Yeah. But that's terrible, dude. But that's yeah. that's the reality, not even of just corporate. I mean, honestly, a lot of jobs, bro. It's mm-hmm. like a lot of jobs, especially corporate. But it's like they do not care. I jokingly, I had a manager of mine come on the show. And uh, it was a clip that, <laughs> that got a bunch of traction, too, where he was telling me, um, we were debating like the two week and he was kind of, he agreed with me. Like he, he doesn't believe in the two week that much either, but he was playing devil's advocate and being like, the well, two week? like the two week notice. Oh yeah. And so I was explaining why I think it's bullshit and why it's unfair. And, um, and he was like trying to push back cause he was literally my manager mm-hmm. at that time. And, um, he, he was basically saying like, well, you know, like you're hurting the, the company, whoever did the schedule, they have to find new people. Da, 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 da. And I was like, all right, let me ask you this. What would you do if I called in on my way to work? And said, I just got in a car accident. I'm split in half right now. But, like, I just want to let you know I'm probably not going to make it. Just wanted to let you know. The first thing you're going to do is fucking cross me off your grid and say, fuck, who am I getting to pick up his section? Mm -hmm. And he's like, actually, the first thing we would do is make fun of you. And then we would cross you off and care about who's going to. And I'm like, yeah, dude, they just don't care. Yeah. And it's not even his fault. That's just literally well, it's the all, way it is. Everybody just lives in this li- life of like, and I have to get to it sometimes with mine. I try to help people when I can, when I can slip around rules. But yeah. um, I mean, most most people just, it's my job. It's my job. Like none of us actually question it because we don't have the I don't. power to, you know? So it's like everybody above you who doesn't care just doesn't care because they can't necessarily or don't want to spend the time to, you know? It is kind of crazy. It's so de- it is a little dehumanizing. Mm-hmm. Like it really, we take it all out. We take all the human aspect mm-hmm. out of things. And then it's like... I don't know. Like, I, I mean, we've all seen it where a coworker comes in and like someone they love died or like mm-hmm. their dog died or something. You're like, fuck. And they're like, I got to work, dude. I got to pay rent. And you're like, yeah, damn, bro. Like, and they're not, they're not doing a good job. There's no way I would do a good job in the yeah. same, you know, aspect, but it's like shit, dude. And then everyone's just like, well, that's, that's our job. I, yeah. I'm, I'm the manager. I got to hold that person accountable if they don't mm-hmm. come in or whatever. Thanks for watching that last video, guys. Click right over here to see the episode in its entirety or click over here to subscribe and check out all the other cool shit we have on the channel. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do it.